We are doing a basic market valuation on a company, Tefrani Naturals. Uh, they have a dividend just paid. Remember, that's the important part here. It's just paid, uh, which means that that is D0, right, is equal to $1.19. Um, and that's going to, and then we have a growth rate expected at 20% and a required return at 24%. So the model that we're using here is the Gordon growth model. So we have a price equals to uh, D0 multiplied by 1 plus G divided by R minus G. And remember, that this is equal to the other equation over here, D1 divided by R minus G. It's the same exact thing. The only difference between D0 and D1 is that growth rate. So uh, we have a D0 here is at 1.19 multiplied by 1 plus our growth rate. So that's going to be 1.2 divided by R, which is 0.24 minus our growth rate which is at 0.2 and so we multiply this through and we come up with a price of $35.70 okay now it's remember it is very important that we figure out and we determine exactly which dividend it is at which time period it's coming through because if we multiply this through right and we we just let's say for argument's sake that we left out that growth rate, let's say that we just put in 1.19 divided by 0.24 minus 0.2. Uh, that means that we would end up with a value at $29.75. However, this is completely wrong, right? If we look at this thing and we say, all right, uh, somebody's offering to pay us $32 for the stock. All right, and we put in this. We don't. We don't use the the growth rate in here. We might say, oh, "All right, you know, we think it's worth twenty nine dollars. Sure, I'll sell it for thirty two. But in reality, okay, this is what we consider to be the true price. Right, it's thirty five dollars and seventy cents. So you know, we would end up getting screwed on the deal. Okay, so it's really important that we add into that into that growth rate.